Today, I wanna to show you how to resize your brushes quickly and easily with a click of a button on your mouse itself. Plus, I'm gonna show you two other ways to resize your brushes, and then you can decide which option is best for you. So if you're ready, let's do it. My name is Chris Parker and I help artists just like you achieve their creative vision and I have a little secret for you. Recently I scoured the internet and I found thousands of free brushes you can download and use in GIMP. If you want to find those brushes, locate the link in the description below and I've also included a video tutorial on how to install those brushes. For now, let's go ahead and jump into GIMP and learn how to resize our brushes three different ways. So let's make sure we have a brush selected, which you can find on your toolbar or press the letter P to use the keyboard shortcut to activate the brush tool. And the first option is an old school method, which is going over here to our tool options and clicking and dragging our size slider here to the left to make it smaller and to the right to make it larger. You can also use these arrow keys here to increase one pixel at a time. Or if you want a specific size, you can double click on this number here and type in that number to get that size of a brush. So option number two for resizing your brushes is using the keyboard shortcuts. So we can use our left bracket key to resize smaller or our right bracket key to resize larger. The only problem is it's increasing and decreasing one pixel size at a time. And it's going to take forever to go from 496 to say 20. So instead, what we can do is we can use our shift key in addition to the left or right bracket key to increase it by 10 pixels at a time. Now, right now, it's not working for me either on my iMac or Windows, so it must be a bug. Let me know if it's working for you in the comments below. And yes, I have set up the preferences to increase by a certain amount of pixels at a time, in this case, 10 at a time. So let's move on to my favorite option, option number three for resizing my brush, which is using the scroll button on my mouse. And as you can see, as I scroll up and down, it automatically increases the size by 20 pixels at a time, but it also does it much quicker than the keyboard shortcut. So go ahead and try this out if you have a scroll button on your mouse. And if it's not working, we need to set up your mouse in GIMP to work with the scroll button. So we're gonna go to preferences, right click, edit, and select preferences. We're gonna come over here and click on our input devices and expand it. Click on input controllers. Double click on main mouse wheel. And the option we want is scroll up and scroll down. And you can see I have an action set up for both of those already. So yours is probably blank if it's not working. So let's fix that. Just double click right here on scroll up and type in the following in our search box right here. We're gonna type in context dash brush dash radius. And then we're going to select this option right here brush radius increase by 10. Click on it to select it and click OK. We're going to do the same thing for scroll down, double click, type in that same information to narrow down our options here, and then select decrease by 10 and click OK. Close all of this out and try it out. You should now be able to resize your brush from your scroll button on your mouse. How cool is that? I love it. This makes it so much easier and faster to work on my artwork and resize my brush from canvas versus using the keyboard shortcut or coming over here to the tool options in the size slider. All right, so that's three different ways to resize your brushes in GIMP. Now, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button below to get updates on new tutorials that I'm going to be releasing. And please like and comment on this video below as well because it's going to help support this video. And the more support I get, the more videos I'll be able to create. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.